minutes into the second half. Still Swansea lead. But they're holding on to that lead rather than uh, looking like adding to it at the moment. Terry Evans was beaten in the challenge with Sean Chappell. Moreira. Oh, wasn't too good from Moreira. Darren Ryan. Can he get the ball across? And it's in, is it? No, it's away. Avion Williams blasts it, and that's the equaliser. Well, really, that was awful defending by Swansea City. And it was Moreira, really, caught in possession. And, uh, well, look at the celebrations. They've rehearsed this, the Barry players. Mark Overdale joins them. It's been coming, the goal, I suppose. But the way it was given away will infuriate Jan Mulvey. Ah, uh, well, this, this is a deserved goal from the Barry players. They play some good football in the second half. Poor defending for Moreira. Gets one chance, Avery Williams. Superb save from Roger Fristo. Don't give him two chances. He's got so many goals this season. And from that sort of position, great save there for big Roger Freestone. Again off his boot, but just a downward volley in at the near post. Poor defending from Swansea, you have to say it. But it was on the cards at the start of the second half. Uh, obviously, Swansea conceding that goal. They'll have to get forward to please the home fans to try to get a winning goal. And that'll leave Barry a little bit more space in midfield. Uh, Barry Town prepared to make a substitution. The player coach is coming on to replace Craig Evans and uh, a movie in Walsh which shouldn't come as a total surprise because of Barnett's influence uh, in the middle of the field well, or wherever he plays, really. Well, the reason for Gary Barnett to see coming on there now is that since they've got the goal back, Swansea have just picked up the pace a little bit. They're closing down a little bit quicker in midfield. They're getting a little bit more possession, getting the balls out to Moreira on the left-hand side. Now he's just trying to come and stop the rot and just try to pick up the pace for Barry again. Forward by Walker. Another very successful clearance. It's Avion Williams. He's got support in the middle. Across comes... Uh, Edwards, will it drop for Pike? It won't. The danger is far from over, though. And that's a second for Barry Town. It's Darren Ryan. Well, Barry have completely turned this game on its head. And once again, you have to point the finger at the Swansea defence. All credit to Barry. But... Uh, Dramatically, they've taken a 2-1 lead. Well, this has all come from that man, Avian Williams, persistence and hard work. Goes slightly away with a skid there from Chris Pike, but looks at nobody's closing him down. And you can't leave a man in the six-yard box with that much space. Again, it's, you have to say, terrible defence from Swansea, but again, quality to... Uh, for Barry, because they're getting men forward, they're getting men in the danger zone, and as Chris Pike comes up, he's got time to pick his head up and look, pick out Darren Ryan. And who's picking him up? Simple goal. Well, it's a disgruntled-looking Swansea crowd. A minute of injury time played and the despondent-looking Jan Mulby. He warned in the match programme this could be potential banana skin for his side. It's looking like that at the moment, unless they can pull something really dramatic out of the hat in the seconds remaining. There shouldn't be too much injury time. And uh, Barry's determination regains possession for them. They give away possession, but then, fortunately, win it back through Danny Carter, who uh, very nearly presented the ball to Jason Price. But Mark Overdale clears. And that could well have been the last chance for Swansea City as the referee, Kerry Richards, looks at his watch, and that's it! The cheers for the Swansea players, but it's a great night for Barry Town. It's players, it's officials and supporters. Avion Williams getting the congratulations of Chris Edwards. He opened the scoring, he equalised for Barry at the start of the second half. And the winner was provided by Darren Ryan. This time with his head, he doesn't score many goals with his head but he scored one that counted tonight to cancel out anything that Sean Chappell had given Swansea City 
in the first half and this has really opened up the FAW Invitation Cup because Barry Town is certainly a force to be reckoned with in the competition and uh, one would imagine could well upset a few other clubs as this competition develops. A huge upset then at the Vetchfield. They bounced back after that 3-2 defeat at Jenna Park just over a fortnight ago and have sealed a deserved win, it has to be said, a deserved win, playing good football. The final score here at the Vetchfield in Swansea is Swansea City 1, Barry Town 2. You've always said during this competition that the beauty of it is being able to match yourselves against league opposition, and you're holding it, holding more than your own at the moment. Yeah, I mean, in the first in the first game, obviously at Jenner Park, we played ever so well, passing the ball, but we just didn't have the killer instinct. Tonight we had that killer instinct and that bit of luck which you always need in front of goal. Well, Ian, what are your thoughts on that now? There's not a lot you can say. On the night we were beaten by a, by a better team with better players. Uh, you don't expect me to stand here and try and make excuses for my players after performers like that. On their own, tonight, they're on their own, and you know it's up to them whether they take on board what has happened to them tonight. One thing I can guarantee: if they don't take on board and learn from tonight, <coughs> then they'll slowly but surely drift out the game. Do you think you've got specific problems in that team? No, I mean we've we've been saying for a while now that we could do with some reinforcements, but it's no good talking about it if if there's no one to, to come in and we have to work with what we got. I just felt that we're a professional team and and they're playing in the League of Wales and. Probably they've got the better players than what we've got to work with, and I think if that's the case, it's it's a sad reflection on on the way it is. It must be very hard for you to take that that uh, a League of Wales side have come here tonight then and proved to be a better side. Yeah, but I mean, as I said before, I'm not going to make any excuses. They were a the better team; they deserve to win. I think two one was injustice to them. Could have won a lot more. Is it a general problem of late that you've had? I mean, you've conceded ten goals in five games now. No, I mean, you'd like to think that defensively should be okay. The three most experienced players who played out there tonight in Edwards Walker and, and Freestone. Uh, you'd like to think that they could keep things tight at the back. But you get to a state, and I've suggested that to the board, that well, you might have to change your players. If you don't change them, they'll change you. So what you say then, Jan, is maybe this isn't a one-off? Well, you never know. We'll have to try and find out. But if you look at the league table, we're playing first, second and fourth in our next three games, we'll soon find out what we're all about.